Shalom, first and foremost, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Uh, just looking at some old news. This is basically an old video, but the uh, content in it, you know, and what's said and what's shown is heavy for prophecy. Because we're in that time of uh, the Lord is is playing the chessboard to these nations, basically coming together, basically to destroy America. The thermonuclear destruction. The thermonuclear destruction is imminent, and you have your certain players who are going to play their part in this thermonuclear destruction, all the way from you other nations, until the men of the Lord, the prophets who are prophesying the downfall of this place. Okay. It prophesying the downfall, okay? Uh, let me get one scripture before I play this video. Uh, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, which is America, because America is a uh, is like the kingdom that's no holes barred. You can be what you want to be, be who you want to be. You know, they support everything that's of the opposition of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's word, they 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 um they glory in folly and iniquity. Okay? It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. The Lord said he will destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. He said, off the yeah. face of the earth. That's uh literal, okay. It got one of the words that says battle. He's going to do it through a battle of the nations against America with thermonuclear destruction. Okay. When you go into that word destroy, it's what exterminate, to be destroyed, to be annihilated. Okay. That's going to happen through thermonuclear missiles. Okay. Destroy, desolate, bring to naught, to perish. So that means there's nothing going to be left. Okay. It says saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, meaning this is an election because two thirds are gonna are, are actually gonna perish with Esau in this destruction, right? Because two thirds have basically ignored the counsel of our power and our savior, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? Thus said the Lord Yahweh, and these are his words, you know? So the elect men, okay? which were chosen from the foundations. These are the men that are going to actually uh, be saved, you know, out of this destruction. And destruction is, is coming. It's, it's, it's imminent. It's going to happen, okay? Let's play this video. Donald Trump has been a critic of Iran's involvement in conflicts in the Middle East since he was a presidential candidate. But if Europe's leaders are going to save the 2015 nuclear deal, the Trump administration's demands for curbs on Iran's ballistic missiles program could be their biggest hurdle. Iran says it's a defensive necessity against the United States and other powerful countries in the region. And despite suggestions by European signatories, Iran says compromising its self-defense capability is off the table, even if it means scrapping the nuclear agreement. <laughs> National security is a basic for any activities in a country. If we cannot guarantee national security, we can never have economic development and public welfare. World leaders worry these rockets could someday carry a nuclear warhead. But Iran's leaders say they've been clear on that issue, but that no one is willing to listen. Does Iran want to develop a nuclear bomb? Asla. Never, never, because first we have the supreme leader's decision. Second, we have committed to the world that despite having enough nuclear knowledge to use nuclear power in many ways, we will only use it for peaceful purposes. At a museum in town. Now, <clears throat> he said he would only use it for peaceful purposes. And he said no. But what he don't know is, it's not his plan. It's not his will. Everything is the Lord's will. Okay? The Lord is, is making... The Iranians create nuclear bombs for a certain purpose. 
okay? Isaiah 55 and 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord, Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So for him to say they can never use it, he don't know the plans of the Heavenly Father, okay? The Heavenly Father is using using you uh, Iranians as part of the the uh, 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 plan, part of the army to do, help destroy uh, Babylon, okay? AKA uh, uh, Egypt, which is modern day America. Okay. You don't know that you're part of the plan. You know, when you read Ezekiel 38 chapter, it says, Son of man, verse 2, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tobal, and prophesy against him. That's me in Russia, okay? It says, And say, and, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O God. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So they're, they're Edomites. So the Lord is ultimately against them. But he's going to use them. Right. To uh, uh, perform his will and his work. It says verse 4. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaw, jaws. And I will bring thee forth in all thine army. Horses and horsemen. And all them clothed with all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, okay? So the Lord is going to bring you back into that old Soviet USSR mind state, okay? He's going to bring you back to that, that warlike mind state of the old days, right? And you're going to prepare, as we're going to enjoy a three, your 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 uh, captains are getting, they're preparing for this big war, and they know it. You know, Russia has a great defense system because it's a bear. Okay, and they're getting ready because they have an interest in these countries like Iran. They really back Iran, right? But they said they're they, they not going to ever shoot them. But check this out. Verse 5 says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with all of them, all of them with shield and helmet. So all, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, right? And Gomer and all his bands, the house of Tomar, the north quarter, and all his bands are many people with thee. See? So there, be thou prepared and prepare thyself. So they're they're preparing for war, and per and Iran for him to say that he he don't know the plan of the heavenly father. Because let me show you. Now let me go into uh, uh let's see here. Let me see here. Google. Let me type in Persia. <laughs> You type in Persia. So you type in the word Persia, right? Persian Empire. It shows you the flag. What does it say right there? Iran. Iran also called Persia and officially the Islamic Republic of Iran is a country in Western Asia with 82 million inhabitants. Iran is the world's 18th most populated country. Okay? Now, it says that Iran is Persian. So this guy, obviously he don't know prophecy, he don't know scriptures, he don't know the work that the Lord is doing for him to say that they're not going to use it because it speaks right here of a, of a war preparing to take place, a battle, in Persia being one of the members. And Persia is Iran. Okay? You see what, what Google said. Now, if you go in here in this in this one, it is it, it's really not gonna uh, that coordinates is not gonna tell you. That's why we go to you know go to other things like Google, and it gives you a, you know you got to search, man. You know you got to search. So Persia is Iran. So when this guy made a comment, basically he. Uh, he don't know the will of the Heavenly Father, how about Shemel Shai, which the Lord is going to let those rockets rain, man. Okay. Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Okay. These are names for uh, basically say America. Woe to Asia. Woe unto Egypt, which is America. You know. These countries right here in Asia, man, all these countries we named are in that region. So destruction is coming. 
you know, girt up thy yourselves with clothes of sack and hair and be well your children. Be sorry for your destruction at hand. That's what we're telling our people and we're telling you other nations, right? We're telling our people, hey, we're calling on our people for the elect to come out and to tell two-thirds their destruction. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back when those missiles are shot? Okay. A fire is sent among you. Who may quench it? Because a fireman's little, little uh, station number 18 not going to be able to put this fire out. Okay. This fire is going to be sent from the heavens, man. It's a heavenly work. Even though it's sent from another country, it's a heavenly work. The Lord created this waster to destroy. You know, Isaiah uh, 50, 54, I think it is. It says, plagues are sent unto you, and what is what is it he that may drive them away? Okay. That goes down, I'm going to go read on down, uh, where it says, uh, where it talks about it, uh, verse 13, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows and he shooteth are sharp, and, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot unto the ends of the earth. Because this these missiles are going to be coming from the other side of the planet. Right? It's going to take like 28 to 30 minutes for them to reach their targets once they shot out of the gals. Okay? When you read in uh, uh, Job. Okay? Then he uses symbolism of a, a bow and an arrow. The bow being them silos. The arrows are the missiles. And, you know? And you look at them, they look sharp. They look like arrows. That's where they're built. Verse 14, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come unto the earth, man. So they're going to be shot up into the stratosphere. Okay. And they're going to come across and they're not going to come down until they reach uh, America, the point, and then they're going to come back into the atmosphere and hit their targets. And they shall not miss, Scripture say. For a fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. So this fire is not going to be able to put, be put out. Because this explosion, this is the uh, one where before the new kid explodes in the air and the vacuum and the mushroom cloud comes up and it sucks all the air and pushes that fire forward. And every time one hit, it's going to do the same process. So it's going to push forth through the land, consuming and burning everything in the land. Okay. Like an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, return it not backwards. It's not a boomerang, it's an arrow. Even so, the plague shall be sent on the earth, they shall not, shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? And that's Ezra speaking who will deliver him in those days, but him knowing what reincarnation, because he's letting you know that I'll be here on the earth when that takes place. Okay, and I hope this short lesson was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who were well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen to the next time and say, Shalom.